Hey everyone, are you ready to learn how to make this buffalo check, buffalo plaid canvas using almost 100% Dollar Tree products? I am about to show you how to make a beautiful wall hanging that you can complete in less than 20 minutes. Let's get started. It says, what do baby wipes and a Dollar Tree canvas have in common? We are, I'm gonna show you a really, really simple way to make buffalo plaid with this Dollar Tree canvas and look, using one of our Dollar Tree um, metal words, and I'm not a painter, y'all. So if I can do this, I know you can. So come on. All right, so did you know that Dollar Tree sells canvas? So this is a eight by 10 canvas from Dollar Tree. And it is, it comes just like what you see here. We're gonna unwrap it. These are baby wipes. So let me open my canvas from Dollar Tree and show you how flipping easy this is. I absolutely am in love with this technique. If you have a canvas that is already white, you don't have to worry about this, but because it's white. But if you have um, a piece of wood, you'll want to paint the wood white first. So your base coat is going to need to be white. But since our canvas is already white, that actually took a lot of steps or one step out of this process for me. So I then took some painter's tape. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is not the stickiest painter's tape in the world. I'm not lying. It is a one, this is a one and a half, but if you prefer your blocks on your buffalo plaid to be smaller, get a narrower tape, right? So I started mine, let me zoom in just a little bit closer here. Based on the size of this eight by 10 canvas, I brought mine in just a little bit from the edge. All right, you can do this however you want, but it is so simple. And I put the tape over the edge because I like my edges to be painted. So as you can see here, the black goes around the edge as well. So then I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm gonna just stick it here just to give me a spacer so I know where to put my next piece. Has anybody ever done this method before using baby wipes? So now I have my second piece of tape. And so that just showed me how much space to put between these two. I'm gonna use another one. Actually, I have a couple sitting over here. So let me use this one. And you don't have to be 100% accurate, right? So if there's a little more space in there, it's okay. There we go. All right, so one thing you do wanna do is make sure that the edges of your tape is very well sealed to your canvas, whether it be, so if you use the Dollar Tree canvas that like I'm using, or if you're using a piece of wood, um, make sure that your tape is very well secure to your surface so that the paint doesn't go up underneath it. Next, I'm going to take a baby wipe, and I'm not going to lie, these baby wipes were dried out, so I added some water to moisturize them. So you want like a fresh, moist baby wipe. Now I'm going to take my black paint, because this is already white on the bottom. So if you're just joining, rule number one is you have to have a white surface to begin with. So if you're using a piece of wood, paint it white first, or if you're using the Dollar Tree canvas, it's already white. And I'm gonna dip my baby wipe right in that paint. And I'm gonna go right over my tape on my white. 
You guys, I just got paint on the edge of my arm. God dang it. Now, I like I said, I like to do the side edges as well. So I'm going to do those. And for this coat, you want it to be kind of darker black. So you want a good dark black for this coat. All right, so we're just gonna do that and cover up, paint all the white spots. This, I've done buffalo plaid before and it was so complicated for me, y'all. I'm like, I had to have a physics teacher teach me. If Jenny's watching, you did a great job. But this is too easy. This is like, a project that you could do with anyone and it's quick and it's easy and other than paint on your arm it's pretty much mess free all right so we have our black let me throw that one away and now we're going to remove our tape carefully make sure I don't have paint on my fingers but if I do get some paint on the white I can always paint over it right so you want to remove the tape while the paint is still wet and if you like stripes you can stop right there Look at those beautiful stripes. Is that not gorgeous? Just the way it is. I love that already. Um, we want this to completely dry before we move forward. So I did bring back out the trusty blow dryer. So if it gets loud, I apologize. All right, so my paint, my first coat of paint is dry. Now we're gonna take our tape again, hey, Miss. and we're gonna go the opposite direction. So this time I started on the very edge. Put my little spacer in there. So my tape just about works out perfect. It's not hanging over on the edge back here. So now I'll take off my spacers. Watch this next part. So I'm gonna take a fresh baby wipe. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my paint plate and give myself a little more paint. Hello, Denise, how are you? Teresa, you have ordered. Now, again, you wanna make sure your baby wipe is moist. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my paint, except this time, we're gonna go much quicker and we're gonna go lighter color. So I'm just gonna barely brush on and if I get it too dark, I can go back over it with my, my wipe and lighten it up. 
and I'm going to have to turn that. Not enough darkness. Now the only thing is, when I did that first one, is I um, did not figure out how on the ends I can have that buffalo plaid look on the end. So I'll show you what I did, but you guys might have a better way. All right, so you want it to be a lighter color gray, but look at the texture. We By using the wipe, it's got like that distressed look. So right here, I still have the white on the ends. So what I did was I just took my same baby wipe and I went in the same direction and just did like the light charcoal color. So just by using less paint, less pressure, I did the charcoal color in there. I didn't have any spacers or anything, but I feel like it turned out pretty good. So I did that on both ends. Can you believe that transformed right in front of your eyes? Check this out. Anybody can do this. So painter's tape. I recommend frog tape, but I didn't have any. So this is probably like our um, hardware store name brand. Um. So frog tape actually sticks a little bit better. If you're doing this on a wood surface, I would definitely want the stronger tape. But now, um, so one of our followers found the, um, let me see if I can show you, the metal lettering that Dollar Tree has. And she sent me, God love her, two packs. She sent me this wet pack, which has the joy, believe, and peace in it. And then she sent me another pack that has uh, thankful, harvest, and welcome on it. So this pack has the Thanksgiving lettering excuse me, uh, words. And then this one has the uh, Christmas. We now have, because I did a practice one, we've got two of these, right? So what I'm going to do, just because I don't want to um, ruin anything yet, is I'm going to take some spray adhesive and I'm going to apply it to the back of one of these. And guys... From personal experience, don't do this inside like I am. Thank you, Andrea. It's also up in the description of our live today. So now I'm going to take that. I'm going to do this one, Believe. And again, I don't recommend using a spray adhesive 
indoors just because from personal experience I have gotten it stuck on some really crazy stuff. So, and then if we had a third one done, we could do joy. So now we have a three piece grouping, right? So I could see this hung on my wall with peace, believe, and joy all the way around. So you could very easily, you know, do a grouping if you get three of these canvas from Dollar Tree and use all three of the metal words and do a grouping. And of course, if you wanted to um, make this with the um, harvest ones, the thankful harvest and welcome, you could go that direction. But then that's not all folks. Look, I went shopping. So I just have to open this. Whether I use it or not, it's going to be open. This has got to be my most favorite gingham ever. So this is a glitter black and white gingham check. I love the glitter. So we could take this, make a nice little bow, Now this gingham, a gingham by by nature is inexpensive. This one's a little bit more expensive because it's got the glitter. And look, we could add. Let me get my bow here. That ribbon bell is from my store, festivecreationsbystephanie.com. I carry that in my store. So we could take that, and I took a push pen. Let me see if I can make this work. Ooh. Of course, the canvas has a wood frame. So, yeah, I'm going to have to probably put... A piece of something around there to hold that together. Hold the phone. And of course this is near the end of the reel so Val it is gorgeous. I actually brought out a few different colors of ribbon so like if you wanted to go with the black gold or black and gray bold check, that would match that perfectly. This is like a Christmas plaid or you could go with the red and black. So any one of these suggestions would make a great accent color to add just a little bit more flair to your picture frame. So now I've got it wired together so it won't come apart. I'm just going to take my thumbtack, my push pin actually, and put that down in the wood. And it can go further, but I don't want to pound on it on the live. So you could add just a simple little bow on the edge and dress that up even more. Right? Let's see what it looks like with the red and black. I think the red and black would look cute too. Maybe if I give it a good twist. And we'll get another push pen. So either one of these ribbons would look amazing. There it is with the red and black. And of course, I could add some greenery around there. I could do just about anything with that. But I like the simplistic look of it. 
Um, I might even actually use a staple in there instead of the push pin so it's not as obvious. But there's some suggestions on how you could actually take those and enhance them even more. It's such a simple project, you guys. Simple, 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 but gorgeous. And that's staying on very well with the adhesive spray. It's staying on very well. Let me get that wire down. 